Hi, my name's Daisy and I'm the sales and product trainer here at Gleason Homes. In this short video we'll be explaining how to use your air source heat pump controller, what the different functionalities are and a step-by-step -step guide on how to set a heating program. Air source heat pumps are far more advanced than a standard gas boiler and as a result the controller is slightly more complex than one you might be used to seeing in other new build homes. To begin, we'll share what the basic controls are. The control pad is centred around directional arrows which allow you to easily navigate through various controller settings, as well as a back button on the top left. The top right takes you to the full main menu. The bottom left takes you to the quick menu. Finally, the bottom right is the power button which turns the heating system on and off. Note that even when the air source heat pump is turned off at the controller, it will continue to perform background safety measures such as frost protection and Legionella prevention, so please don't worry if you still hear your heat pump running when it's switched off at the thermostat. On the screen you will see three main sections. The first one on the left shows what mode your air source heat pump is in. This should always be set to show the sunshine and tap icons. This means that your air source heat pump is providing heat to both your central heating and your hot water cylinder. It can be changed to sunshine only or tap only, but either setting should result in a loss of either central heating or hot tap water. Therefore, it is strongly recommended to keep this on the combined setting. The middle section shows your internal room temperature. You can navigate to this section using the arrows. Once selected, it will display the current set room temperature. You can change this using the up or down arrows and clicking the enter button in the centre to confirm. Your air source heat pump system is designed to achieve maximum efficiency and lowest running costs between 20 and 22 degrees. The far right section shows your hot water cylinder set temperature and outside air temperature below. Once selected, use the up down arrows to change the hot water cylinder temperature, clicking the enter button in the centre to confirm. Your air source heat pump system is designed to achieve maximum efficiency with hot water temperature set to 45 degrees. The average bath shower temperature is around 37 to 38 degrees, so you should never need to increase the set temperature beyond 45 degrees. If your daily routine means that your home is often empty for an extended period, example 9 plus hours, it may be sensible to let the temperature reduce during this time, using the heating programmer to do this. Start by pressing the quick menu button to navigate to the timer. Click on enter and confirm yes and timer set up. You will see each day of the week appear. If you navigate to an individual day it will display a range of blank patterns where you can change when the heating turns on and off. As an example we'll arrange for the heating temperature to set to 22 degrees at 6am. Then we'll set the next pattern to turn off heating at 8am. And finally we'll set the heating to turn on at 20 degrees at 6pm. Your air source heat pump will learn how early it needs to turn on to achieve your desired temperature at your desired time so there's no need to compensate for heat up time in your weekly program. If you've chosen the Smart Cloud upgrade, you can connect to the thermostat via your phone and change the settings from there. There are several shortcuts you can access on the quick menu. These include force hot water mode, powerful mode, quiet mode and force heating mode. But all of these interfere with the normal operation of the unit. Therefore, we recommend to not use these settings under normal circumstances. Along the bottom you will find the weekly programmer mode, a force defrost mode, a reset button and a lock button, offering a screen lock should you wish to prevent anyone accessing the panel. In the main menu the complex commissioning settings can be accessed. We recommend that only trained engineers access these settings. Changing these could result in higher running costs or an inability of the system to keep your home warm. Inside the cylinder cupboard you will see a range of components and fittings. The only component you need to be aware of is the pressure gauge and the attached filling loop. The pressure gauge may include a fixed marker indicating the required pressure. If not, 1.5 bar is a healthy pressure for your system. 
If your pressure is below either the fixed marker or 1.5 bar, you can top it up by using the filling loop which works the same as a gas boiler. To add pressure, slowly turn the valve until you see the gauge start to move. Once you're at the desired pressure, fully close the valve. You should only need to do this a couple of times a year. If you are losing pressure more regularly, please contact a service engineer. If your system experiences a fault, a code will flag up on screen. Please refer to your user manual which explains what each fault code means and provides steps to clear the fault. Some faults can be resolved by the homeowner, such as clearing debris from around the unit, and others will require the attendance of a service engineer. If you have taken the Smart Cloud upgrade and have linked your unit to your account, a Panasonic engineer may be able to remotely diagnose and or resolve your issue remotely. We hope this video provides you with the information needed to access and manage your air source heat pump control panel. For further information, please refer to the Gleason Home Buying Guide, or for more technical assistance, we recommend contacting a service engineer.